six awesome prints done in matte blue filament. I love this filament. My name is Jim and this is The Edge of Tech. So recently, Newreal reached out and asked if I wanted to check out the T-Rex M18S. And I said, sure. It's a direct drive printer that's 310 by 310 by 400. It's got a silent board with 2208 stepper drivers. It's got a three and a half inch touchscreen. Meh, why not? Let's check it out. So my friends over at Fulament sent over this matte blue filament. And I tell you what, this was the perfect filament to try on this printer. So I tested this machine with six awesome prints, some functional, some not, and I think you're gonna love them. Now this machine ain't perfect and I couldn't find any profiles out there. So I started fresh with a Prusa Slicer profile that I just made. I based it on the Artillery Sidewinder X1 and I thought I would just see what happens. Overall, the machine's not bad. It does need a little bit of tweaking, but I tell you what, this filament is awesome. I think the matte filament by Fulament is my new favorite filament in matte colors anywhere. I really love it, it prints like butter, and I tell you what, it is definitely worth the money. So check it out, there's a link in the description below if you want to. But without further ado, let's check out the prints. The first one I did was this I Dig 3D Christmas tree. Now I did this in vase mode, and it came out absolutely awesome. A lot of times if you do this uh, too fast or your printer is not dialed in, this print will actually separate at the seams. There's none of that with this blue matte filament and it printed all the way up to the very top where this peak is right up there. I absolutely love this tree. I gave a bunch of these away at Christmas time and they look awesome. The next thing I printed was this fidget cube. Now, admittedly, I pulled it off the bed a little too fast and I broke it, but I put it back together and we're good to go. Now, you'll notice that there is a layer right here that does not look great. And that's because the first layer on this did not go down the best. So I had to adjust it on the fly. And you can see right there that it didn't have a great first layer, but it works great. You can uh, fold it over itself like this, and then it folds back, and then it folds out, and then down, and then out, and fidgets like that. This is actually a really cool design. It just, it endlessly folds over itself. So it'll fold over the long way, it'll fold in on itself, then it'll fold out this way, and then it fold out like that. So it's a really cool design. I printed several of these and given them away uh, to kids and friends and everything. But I absolutely love this print. Uh, it printed very well. You'll notice in some of these that the layers, I got a lot of lines here. And I think that's just uh, some tweaking of the printer that needs to be done. But overall, the print went great and I absolutely love the blue. Next, I did the Flexi Octopus. I mean, Everybody loves a Flexi Octopus, right? And I absolutely love it. It printed uh, all in one. Everything came out great. As you see, the legs articulate like they should. The only issues we have are a little bit under the nose. You can see the drooping uh, right there. Other than that, this printed really good. Everything articulates great and it looks pretty dang awesome. This is a print that a lot of people do and it is one of my favorites because of how it prints each individual link and leg all in one go. The next thing I printed were these Beat Saber handles. So this is actually used for the Oculus Quest or Oculus Quest 2. And as you can see, there is definitely some of those uh, layer lines that come up through them. And I'm not sure why. Again, we need to tune that out in the machine, but but that's okay, um, you can see them a little more inside. But the matte blue really did a great job here. It, it's just a, a really cool print. Basically what's gonna happen when you're done is you'll come and you'll take your Oculus Quest or Oculus Quest 2 controller, you'll stick it in and you'll actually attach it and you'll be able to use this when you play Beat Saber, kind of like you're holding a lightsaber like this. It's a lot of fun when I've seen people using them and I can't wait to put them to use. So we're gonna have some fun with that. And if you have an Oculus Quest or a Quest 2, or if you play Beat Saber, let me know in the comments below. Now recently we had Angus on the show from Maker's Muse, and he actually created this torture test 
to be tested on different printers. So I thought I would buy it. The link is in the description below if you want to as well. And give this thing a try. So the first thing I notice is that it does spin from the center, which is great. And if we start way at the end, the uh, 0.5 gap is actually huge and pops out. <laughs> 0.4 gap does open. 0.3 gap opens. 0.2 gap turns and opens. 0.15 gap actually turns. And I think that's pretty awesome for a printer that's not quite dialed in and needs uh, profile help as well. But what's really cool is they all turned, especially this 0.15 gap. That's actually a super tiny gap to allow that to move. And I'm very impressed that this printer and this filament were able to make that happen. Now the downside, if I flip this thing over, again, we had some layer issues on the first layer. So you can see right here, it curled and it didn't stick well and it just it just was not a good first layer in that part I had to adjust it uh, on the fly to get it to to work but overall it finished um, I'm very happy that that finished and it works in the end but that first layer again not the best on that t-rex and I had to adjust it on the fly through the touchscreen one thing I was impressed with was the layers here I'm telling you uh, the layers look amazing with this filament. I absolutely love how the matte filament makes layers look. Um, it looks really cool. Last but not least is the clock spring roller van. It printed so cool. There's no secret that I absolutely love the clock spring prints and this one does not disappoint. This is the roller van and it prints all in one go. And the wheels are actually all one piece here and they're locked in down this way. So when they get done, they actually turn like that. I love that. It's so much fun and it came out really, really nice. If you check out the layers in there, it looks really good. A little bit of lines like we've seen on all the other prints, but that's not that big of a deal. The first layer could have been better, but I tell you what, it wasn't terrible. I've been having issues with the first layer on this printer, having to adjust it almost every print, but this one wasn't too bad. Um, the, the layers, as you can see here, you see those lines like we saw on all the other prints, but I think that's a mechanical issue on the printer. Um, we're gonna work on fixing that. All in all, this print came out great. It came out exactly how it was supposed to come out. The wheels turn right off the bed. All I did was pop it off. The rear looks awesome. The front, you see all the detail in the front of the van. And this was my favorite print in the matte blue filament filament. Nice work, Sven. This model is awesome. So there you have it. That is the six prints that I did in the filament matte blue filament. Like I said before, I absolutely love this filament. It looks so cool. I love the matte. I think it looks a little more shiny in this light than it really is in person, but I absolutely Love this filament. It'll definitely be added to the cabinet and I have some more colors on order that I can't wait to play with either. But I absolutely love blue, so that's my favorite. All the links for the models you saw in this video are in the description below. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite model was because my favorite, I think it's obvious, is this clock spring roller van. I absolutely love clock spring prints as we've seen many times in my videos, but the roller wheels on this thing, it is phenomenal, I love it. And now I can give this to Tristan, my son, to play with, and he can roll it around on the carpet. There's no small parts on this, so that'll be perfect for him. I gotta say one more thing about this printer itself. I was pretty impressed when Angus's torture test came off, and I was actually able to move the, one, the .15 roller here. I tell you what, that doesn't happen on a lot of printers, and especially one that's not completely dialed in. This thing is, Definitely needs some tweaking, it needs some dialing in, and my profile needs some help too. But that definitely impressed me. This thing has a lot of potential. At the time of this filming, this printer was unavailable on Amazon, uh, but I will try to find a link and get it in the description below if you wanna check it out. Otherwise, I hope you guys learned something today, maybe found something cool you wanna print, and as always, keep printing. What's up everybody? If you liked the video, hit that thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you didn't already do that and the little bell right over here to get notified anytime we go live on Monday night for Hot Makes or any other time a great video like this comes out. Have you guys seen this one? <laughs>